What's happening everybody? My name is Kenny B. Fisher. I am a certified fitness professional and the name of this channel is Fitness and Technology Review. This is my first video. So just to let everybody know what my goals for this channel are. It's to show you how fitness technology can make your fitness easier for you and also provide you with some fitness tips along the way. So today what I'm going to be showing you is the Samsung app. It's on all Samsung smartphones. It's called S Health and the specific part that we're going to be taking a look at is the eat healthier portion. So here my Galaxy Note 5, we're going to take a look. We're going to go right into the S Health app. See it opening up with the little guy running there. So when you first open the app, this is what you see. The eat healthier section is actually right at the top. It also actually gives you a little bit of a information how you can make the most out of S Health, but if we skip right to the eat healthier portion, this is where you would track your food for the day. So you can track your calories, make sure you're eating all the correct macronutrients, your carbohydrates, your proteins, your fats, and also gives you a nutrient balance score, which is, which is pretty helpful. So first thing we're gonna talk about is how do we log a meal? So you can either do this a couple different ways. You can either log your meals as you go throughout your day, uh, or you can do what I like to do, which is to log all your meals up front so you know exactly what you're going to eat. It's kind of like your plan for eating for the day. Works different for different people. So if you're the kind of person that wants to hold yourself accountable throughout the day, don't eat it unless you log it. You're better off logging it as you go. If you want to plan out what you're going to have in advance, if that's more your style of holding yourself accountable, then you do it that way. Just map out your food for the day and follow it just like you would any other guide. But today what we're going to do is we'll, we'll, we'll pop into this here. So you got zero calories there. I also set my goal for 2,500 calories. That's something you can do when you first open the app. It asks you a bunch of questions about what you're trying to do in terms of losing weight. And it will figure out the amount of calories, uh, generally speaking, that you would need to lose weight. So that kind of happens for you automatically when you first take a look at the app. But so when you go into the Eat Healthier portion, this is what you're looking at. Zero calories. I haven't, I haven't logged anything today. Uh, not yet anyway, as you can see. So... Uh, we look at the bottom, it kind of breaks out all your meals for you, and you can see that there's different, uh, different sections here. You're looking at your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your morning snack, afternoon snack, uh, and if you do eat later in the day, uh, as, meaning you have an earlier dinner, there is an option for an evening snack. I very rarely have the evening snack, but it is there as an option for you if you do tend to have an earlier dinner and need something to get you through till the next morning. So. If we pop back up, we want to enter a meal. I'm going to go into the breakfast section. Now, when you first come into it, what you, what you see initially is things that you frequently eaten. So I, I've been using this app for a little over a year now. So I have lots of things that I've frequently eaten for breakfast over that time. It, it'll it'll start to remember things that you commonly put in. If something there that you're eating that you you don't see that you haven't had before, you can always go to the the search. Oh, sorry, fellas, doing this from behind the camera. You can go to the search section here. And you can put in things that you're searching for, either whether it be at a restaurant or some new food that you're trying. Uh, but if we pop back out there, uh, we can go back in specifically. Let's go back into breakfast. So breakfast, and we'll go to frequent. Uh, so this morning, I actually had uh, an egg sandwich. So what you would do is click this checkbox here. And what it also does is, is it brings up things that you previously added with that particular food. So you could be looking at uh, bananas, uh, sliced American cheese, a whole wheat English muffin. So three of those things, the English muffin, the sliced American cheese, and the eggs are what I make my breakfast sandwich with. And I could have a banana on the side as well. So it will populate different things for you after it learns the types of things that you eat on a frequent basis. So this makes it a lot easier. If not, you'll, you'll see it in the drop down list as you scroll down. You'll see different things that you have there. Because that's listed there, what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to select the American cheese as well, the whole wheat English muffin, and I didn't have a banana for breakfast. And we'll go down. I also had a small glass of orange juice, so we'll add that. So once you check all those things off, what you do is you go up to the top corner here and click on Next. And what this does is it brings you to another screen. Now that's all the food that you selected. So what you can also what it does is it shows you at the top, you see total calories. So right now it's got 430 calories listed. It's also got your carbs, your fats, and your protein uh, mapped out for you for that particular meal. So when you go down here, you get this plus or minus buttons along the right. And what those are, that's to determine your serving sizes. Now they come pre-populated with particular serving sizes, and you can see the calories in the in the serving. And what you want to do is you want to adjust that accordingly to, of course, for what you had. So I didn't have a, a full glass of, of orange juice that consisted of 170 calories, so I want to adjust that. Now these, these here, you, 
the plus and minus do a half serving at a time so you can go up and down a half half serving but sometimes you don't have quite that much you might have a quarter of something you might have three quarters so if you want to be a little more specific you can drill down into that specific food and then you can come here and you can kind of scroll over and you can do you know six tenths of what you had half there I usually do about a quarter so to be on the safe side I always do a third so I'll do point three for that I only had one English muffin uh, I had only one slice of cheese I did have two eggs so I can use the the plus sign here to go up egg and a half and then two servings so two eggs 140 calories then you get your total up here this is what we want to log your 381 calories 37.7 carbs you have 17 grams of fat 21 grams of protein almost 22 so now we're all done with our log so now we want to add it and we click done and you see there breakfast is now populated checked off with uh, 381 calories so that's how you, how you would log a meal. You'd go throughout your day, you'd, you'd, you'd log your snacks. So for snacks this morning, I'll go in here. For snacks, I, I did have a banana for a snack, so I would select that. And then I, I would scroll down. I also had almonds, something else that's listed. I will go almonds there. And then you come up to the top again, you click next. And then you're back to your screen here uh, where it has the one serving of almonds and the one serving of banana. Both of those are, are what I actually had today, so I don't need to make any adjustments, so I can just go up here and click done. So now my breakfast is all done, my morning snack is all done, and those are completed for the day with the check, check mark. Now if you scroll down a little bit from this spot, what you'll see there's a, a nutrient intake summary, and this is interesting if you're interested in the details of exactly what you're having. So it gives you a, a recommended intake based on some information that you entered uh, when you first open the app. So it gives a recommendation here for me to have 55% of my calories come from carbohydrates, 25% from fat, and 20% from protein. And it also, as you're logging, will give you what your actual intake is for the day based on what you've entered. So as of right now, between my breakfast and my snack, I've had 42% carbohydrates, 41% fats, and 17% protein. Just interesting to see uh, where you're at in terms of breaking out the different types of macronutrients, those three things, the carb, fats, and proteins are your macronutrients. You can see where you're at for the day. If you scroll down, you can get a little bit more details on how much of something you're having that's recommended per day. So you can see you got your recommended amount of protein, your fiber, your potassium, on down the line. If you want to see a little more detail on exactly where that's coming from, you can drill down and it gives you some information up here to understand your nutrient intake and, and how it affects your body. But if you, if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see where you're getting those protein calories from and the foods that you're eating. Where's your fiber coming from? You know, where's your potassium coming from? Breaks it out. You can also see here if you're overeating on a particular thing. I haven't logged everything for the day yet, but if you see down here on vitamin A, there's three colors. You got the yellow orange color there, you got the green and the red. So you, you want to aim to be somewhere near the green for the day for whatever particular nutrient that you're looking at. If you get into the red, you're probably overdoing it on, on something though. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing if you're having too much vitamin A, but anyway, so if you, you want to see a little more detail, you can certainly drill down and do that. So let's go back. And that's pretty much how you, how you would log your meals uh, for the day. Uh, in, in terms of tracking your overall progress, there's some tabs up top here. You can see it has today uh, way over to the left. It also has some trends and a rewards tab. So if we, if we click on the trends tab, what this shows you is your calories that you've had uh, each day. So you can go back through each day or each month, depending on how you want to look at it, and see how many calories you ate. So if I go over to yesterday, see yesterday I had 2,388 calories, and it breaks out my carbs, my fats, and my proteins in terms of grams. I can drill down a little bit further and see where those where those uh, types of calories came from, but it's a great way to check overall over a long period of time how many calories you're having, what you're having, the quality of those calories, what, what foods you're eating. And this is important because if you're seeing success or you're not seeing success with the types of food that you're having, it might be an indication that you want to keep going with what you're doing or that you might need to change something up. Maybe you need more protein if you're looking to build muscle. Or you need, maybe, might need to eat less carbohydrates if you're, if you're looking to lose weight. Maybe you're eating on the higher end of those. So uh, in terms of tracking progress, that's, uh, that's a very useful tool. If we go over to, to rewards, you can see here, it gives you these little badges. And I don't know, I'm not really so into those. It, it's nice to know when you had a perfectly balanced meal or if you reached your calorie count for the day, which is really what those two badges are for, and they total them up for you. 
it, it's encouraging to see, but not, not particularly useful on a day-to-day -day basis, though it is nice when it comes up. Uh, but that's really how this S Health app works in terms of tracking tracking your food. And, and one of the things that uh, is useful about it is that you, you are able to see exactly the types of foods that you're having and exactly what's in them uh, because the, the app does all that for you. It figures it out uh, down, to the, down to every single calorie. So that's, that's my quick review on the uh, S Health, uh, Eat Healthier section on, uh, on your Samsung, Samsung phones. I would like to uh, know what you guys think about this video. Was it, was it useful? Do you, is this something you'd like to see more of? Um, I know a lot of you out there probably have iPhones, so you'd probably like to see similar, something similar on an Apple iPhone device. And I'm sure there's something out there uh, that we could take a look at as well. But if there's anything specifically that you want to see, you know, please feel free to let me know. I'm also happy to uh, answer any fitness or health questions that you may have uh, that uh, may not have been covered in this video. I'm happy to do some video logs as well uh, based on questions that I get from you guys. So please don't hesitate to comment below and uh, please uh, remember to subscribe if you like this video. Thank you.